guys welcome back to my channel for today's video we're in my bathroom because we're gonna make over this entire space I mentioned in my last video where I made over my kitchen slash styled my kitchen with you guys that when I first moved in I didn't really quite have the time to style everything my style changed a lot ever since I moved in so I feel like now it's the perfect time to start um, you know styling it and making it feel more like a space of our own let's just get started and let's start to make over the space Okay guys, so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is sanding down the cabinet and I've actually done this before and it can be a lot of work guys. So what we're going to do is go ahead and sand it down but before I do that I want to take everything out of the bathroom. I'm even going to take down the mirrors as well and the curtains just because I don't want anything to get like dusty. Okay guys, do not mind all of my mess that I have on top of my countertop. This is an area that I really need to work on and try to figure out a solution to like how to organize it, where to put it, because my goal is to have this bathroom vanity to just be very simple. Not a lot of clutter, just very simple decor. But I will be tackling all of this in my next video, so stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so now that I have cleared out everything out of the bathroom, I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding the bathroom vanity. So originally when I first moved in, it was painted white and the paint was like really bad. It was really badly painted to say the least. And so I didn't know whether or not I wanted to paint it or if I wanted to stain it. So I decided to stain it as you guys saw at the beginning. It was this very um, dark stain, which at first I thought I liked. And then I don't know, after probably a week or two, I did not like it, but I knew I wanted to make over the space eventually in the future. Okay guys, so this is the vanity. Everything is sanded down. And then these are the doors. And now I just wanna go ahead and paint the bathroom, like right there, like all of those. And down here, because my dog likes to hang out in the spot. Okay guys, so for the baseboards, I ended up going with a bright white. I'm not really sure what color this is, but it's like just a sample size that you can get from Home Depot off like the shelf with a little rack where they have all the little sample sizes and then for the wall I have Swiss Coffee by Bear so yeah that's the color that I use for my bathroom and like I said I'm just doing like a, little, a couple of touch-ups both on the baseboard and on the actual walls of the bathroom all right so I just finished doing all of the painting as you guys can see some of these spots still need to finish drying but right here I have these shelves, um, floating shelves that I got from Amazon. I still want to do floating shelves here. I just want to change them up. So what I want to do is do it from this side of the wall all the way to this side. So I want like a long floating shelf here and then one there. Okay guys, let's measure this space here so we can cut our wood pieces for our floating shelf. Okay guys, so Brandon went ahead and cut these for us and I'm going to grab my sander and then just sand it down, all three of them. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and sand all three pieces of wood for our floating shelves. I'm just lightly giving them a sand because I want to go in with the tool you guys are going to see um, soon what tool I use to make like some grooves on the wood to make it look more like an old piece of wood. Also, there is Rocky, my dog. He pops up a lot in the in my video. I don't know. Um, don't mind him. He's just, you know, hanging out. But anyways, guys, I'm just going to continue on sanding here.
Hey guys, so I just finished doing the distressing on all three of the floor shelves and I used this tool right here. I don't know what it's called, but I used this. I also went ahead and sanded it down, but I kind of like the way it looks like this because it looks a little bit more distressed and more of like an old piece of wood. So let's break this inside and see how it looks in the bathroom. I still don't know if this is exactly where I want to put it. I feel like I need to figure out the spacing. Hope you guys can see all those details of the wood that we made with that tool. Definitely gonna do a coat of polyurethane on this just to protect the wood, especially because it's in the bathroom. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and take all the brackets off and then make the holes on the other side of the wood so the piece of wood can slide into the bracket. Alright guys, I'm gonna jump in here really quickly because I lost the finish of where Brandon was helping me put up the floating shelves. I don't know what happened to that clip, but anyways, we ended up only putting up two floating shelves because the other, um, shelf ended up breaking from the middle so the two floating shelves ended up working actually perfectly fine i like the way the two looked better than the three and because i've never changed a light fixture before and to be honest i'm kind of scared of messing around with like electrical wires and things like that brandon is just going to help me do that so that's what he's doing right here and then we're just going to continue on with makeover Alright guys, so I put both of the light fixtures yesterday. Well, Brandon put both of them up last night. And today, I need to go get new light bulbs because these are not the right size. I'm going to go to either Home Depot or Target in a bit. And then I want to bring both of these mirrors down because I want to spray paint them. I just don't really like the way the gold and the black looks together. I feel like if I spray paint the mirror gold, it'll look a lot better. Alright, so I went ahead and added the tape on the mirror. I've done this technique before and it does work. So then you just grab your X-Acto knife and then you just cut around your mirror and then take off all the excess tape that you don't need. For the spray paint, I use the same color that, or spray paint color that I used for my kitchen faucet. And as you guys can see, I don't have any spray paint on my mirror, so definitely try this out. Alright guys, so I came back from Home Depot and I picked up two of these. I'm going to put up the light bulbs right now. Hopefully, these are the correct ones. So, before I bring in the mirrors, I think I'm going to jump in to the, um... The, what's this called? <laughs> the countertops. I don't like it. I don't like the way we did the contact paper. As you guys can see, this line right here. I don't like it. It always bugged me. Okay, guys. Let's get rid of this really ugly Oop, contact paper. This thing is really hard to take off. Like, where do I even begin? Alright, guys. I just want to jump in here because I want to tell you guys that this contact paper right here was a nightmare it was just so hard to take off i would pull at it and just like the tiniest bit would come off but when i was finally able to take it all off it left like a sticky residue which sometimes happens with contact paper so i just got glue gone let it sit there for a while then i just wiped it all off and it was all gone so definitely suggest grabbing glue gone if you're going to be removing any contact paper i took out the contact paper and i didn't realize how bad it was like i totally forgot that this is how it looked like all right guys so i went ahead and cleaned the sink and i also clean the countertops didn't include that part because you know it's just me cleaning it so anyways this is the contact paper it's the same brand that i used for the kitchen so let's just get started guys all right guys so i just realized i can't do the contact paper today because of the um faucet and i don't want to mess around with the plumbing or anything like that i've never done it before so i'm just gonna wait for brandon so i'll see you guys tomorrow uh, and yeah, we'll just continue on with the makeover tomorrow. Oh my god, guys, I just put both of the mirrors and this space looks a lot better. It just feels a lot brighter and lighter. And just by changing the light fixtures and spray painting the mirrors, like, that already made such a difference. But I want to show you guys how they look. Alright guys, so this is how it looks like with the new light fixtures and then the new gold mirrors. Ugh, I wish I could change this ugly window, but I can't do that. And now I'm just going to go ahead and change all of these hooks around the bathroom so yeah let me go ahead and bring in the ones that i'm going to use so we can start taking these out all right guys so i wanted to jump in here really quickly because i'm pretty sure you guys are probably asking yourselves why are you changing these if these look already pretty modern and up to date or what have you but to be honest with you guys i really don't like them i think they're just too bulky 
they're also not my style so instead I got some from Ikea which are a lot more simpler and also you can't see them because the towel covers it up and for the toilet paper holder and it looks exactly like the black one guys but I had ordered this one months ago and when I ordered it I never thought about just spray painting the black one which now that I think about it I should have definitely done it and it saved myself some money but you know you live and you learn Okay guys, let me figure out where I'm going to place this. I think right there. I think it looks nice. I feel like it's, like this is too high, but like, like right here. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I like that. I like that it hangs a little bit more down and like it's not like too high. I kind of like that it hangs right there. Alright, I think that's where I'm going to put it. So I put the current rod on and then I put back my current. Now it's time for us to go ahead and do the contact paper. So Brandon went ahead and took off both of the faucets and now I'm debating whether or not I should spray paint them gold. I did the same thing with my kitchen faucet and it turned out great and it's been what like a month and I think I want to spray paint these and while it's drying outside I can go ahead and start doing the contact paper. Alright guys, so there's this rim. Also, I went ahead and spray painted my faucets. So They're just outside um, drying right now. Oh, I just realized I have to spray paint this as well. Uh, this one we left on because it was really hard to take off. So we just left it on there and I just spray painted it like that. I just think that it's going to look a lot nicer if we spray paint this rim gold. And then we have the gold faucet. It's just going to look better. So I'm just going to go ahead do this really quickly and then I'll check back with you guys as soon as we're done spray painting. Hey guys, so it's been a couple days since I last started working in the bathroom. I had to deal with some family situations. Also my family's in from out of town so a lot of things have happened but I want to show you guys what we left off on. I think we were working on the countertops and on the faucet sinks. Uh, but let me show you guys all of that so we can start decorating the bathroom. Okay guys, so I spray painted the faucets gold. You guys saw me do that and then we just put them back on. I also went ahead and spray painted this rim that was around the sink. Uh, and then also painted that as well. And then on that side you can see the other one is done. And then I went ahead and added the contact paper. I didn't put that in the video just because you guys have seen me do that before. And I still have to put the doors back on the vanity. But I just wanted to show you guys how this looks like. I think it looks so much brighter in here. It just makes such a difference. Alright guys, I'm going to try to take this down without falling down. Alright guys, let's take this down. Alright, let's see how it looks like. Oh my god. How do you take this down? Oh. Okay, that was easier than I thought. Okay guys, so this is a new shower um, tension rod that I picked up from Amazon. It's a really nice brass color. I love this color. And I'll show you guys the current that I picked up. This one I got from Home Goods. Looks like this. I did share it in one of my hauls. Uh, I just love the way it looked. It's like a linen material. And I felt like it would look really nice with the current right here that I have. Like it looks really well. So these are the currents that I picked up. These are from the Heart and Hand collection from Target. The color, the shade of the gold, they're very similar. Oh no, I don't think this is gonna work out. Do you guys see that problem? Like, I think what I'm gonna do is just loop it on here, like that. I don't know, what do you guys think? Does that look weird? I think I'm just gonna have to go for it. I mean, that's all I have. Alright guys, so this is how the curtain looks like. Uh, so this is the curtain and then the liner is right behind it. I love the material of this curtain. I think it looks so nice. Just looks so like calm in here. So we added the doors. I never showed you guys us putting it on, but we got new um, hinges. Um, we used to have black ones and we changed them to these gold ones. So these are the new um, knobs that I got. These are from Amazon.
floating shelves that I, you guys saw me make earlier on or Brian actually helped me make these. So there was supposed to be three of these but one of them ended up like breaking and I just decided to just do two of them instead. I think it works uh, well. I actually like having two instead of three. So the first thing I want to do is probably put some stuff up here. This vase that I got from Target that I have that I can also probably put up here since it's tall. Maybe I'll work up here. I also have a couple of like mirrors. So these are really nice mirrors that I thrifted. So this is one and this is the other one. But first I think I want to put some frames up there. So I have this one and I also have this one. Okay guys, so option number one for a frame and then this is our option number two i think this one looks the best all right guys what do you guys think i think it looks good i feel like we need something there okay let's see maybe this one all right guys let's move on to this shelf down here okay so i have like i showed you guys these um mirrors and I really want to put somewhere here so you can do like maybe one here or this one. I kind of like this one. Okay, I have some canisters. These are both from Target from the Hearth and Hand collection. And I know you wanted to use these in the bathroom. Maybe we can add them on this side. Like that. Then I have this little floor arrangement. Okay, so... What about like right here? Oh, I actually kind of like that. Okay, wait. Right, and then the candle. I like that a lot better. I like the way this looks. All right, guys, so I've got this rug or runner for the bathroom. Guys, I did not get a runner like I thought I did. I ended up grabbing a rug instead of a runner. I just love the colors so much. I feel like it looks so good with the rest of the bathroom and also i don't want to go ahead and return it i don't even know if i can return it because i got this a while ago so you know what i'm just going to go ahead and keep it because i also don't want to go back and buy another one when it's not necessary to me for me to buy another one for now this will work so for this little nook area right here i got this stool i thought it would be the perfect size and also i just love the tone of the wood i love the little um cushion it has i thought it will look great with the rest of the bathroom which it does and it's the perfect size for this spot you can slide it out and slide it in so every time i need to do my makeup i can do that i just love this little section uh and i'm so glad that i finally have a space where i can sit down and do my makeup <laughs> hey rocky <laughs>
that was my bathroom makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed this transformation. Also, stay tuned. I think this video should already be up, but I am going to make a new video where I show you guys how I organize my bathroom, especially like underneath the sink. So make sure you guys watch that video as well. There's still more makeovers to come, guys. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Also, guys, I want to say thank you guys so much for being so patient with me. I know I've been slacking on my uploads. Life was just a little crazy for me for a while, but I feel like things have finally settled down and I'm so excited to start doing content for you guys. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!